Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Move Nourish Hill. I'm Mike. And I wanted to bring a moving walking meditation as an option for some of you, maybe non-meditators or people that struggle to meditate. Um, just as a different option, okay? So there's a kind of a perception with a lot of people that meditation has to be stillness. And it's not really true. A walking meditation could be something that's actually very therapeutic. And you know, the way that a walking, there's certain things, like a lot of different things that you can focus on, but a few things that you can focus on um, in a walking meditation is like connecting your breath to the footsteps, right? So finding a, a place to walk, first of all, is important. Somewhere where you kind of know where you're going, sort of, right? Somewhere where there's not going to be lots of obstacles in front of you that you have to navigate around. Um, you know, I'm on a trail up here at Sugar Ridge near Midland in Ontario and it's it's a well established trail so I'm quite comfortable with walking along it without really having to put a lot of focus on where my feet are going. So once you've picked the place to walk right once you've decided you want to do that then you just start walking and bringing mindfulness to the breath right so your breath is going to be the access point to meditation pretty much always and whenever you're walking meditation is happening it can be a focus of like breathing in take one two three steps and then breathing out for one two three steps yeah and it can be as simple as that you can literally do a 10 minute walk and put the focus on your breath <laughs> your breath um, connected to the number of steps you're taking. And then beyond that, it can be a focus on like different senses. You can shift the focus onto the physical sensation of your feet patting the ground with each step. You can hear the sounds maybe of like leaves. And yeah, if you're crazy like me, you might not even have shoes on <laughs> while you're doing your walking meditation. It's about eight degrees Celsius here and uh, my toes are cold, but I can still feel them. So I know that it's nothing to be too worried about, right? If you want me to do a video actually on grounding or earthing, like getting barefoot out into the woods outside in nature as a way to help alleviate all kinds of inflammation and different things, comment below and let me know back to the meditation though yeah and like other things you can put a focus on like if you have a dog with you <laughs> you can have a focus on the sound of your dog walking around you and it's the thing is is being an awareness of what you're putting your senses on is different than fixating on those things right so you hear a bird chirping and you acknowledge oh I hear a bird chirping come back oh I hear my feet hitting the ground I hear the dog walking around me and really, really challenging yourself to dial into one or two senses, right? Just maybe the physical sensation of your feet on the ground, your legs moving, and then also bringing the senses into your environment and hearing the sounds around you. And a walking meditation is a great access point to mindfulness if you're somebody that really does struggle to be still. Um, and you know, I've got some shorter meditations and different options that are on my channel for, um, for seated meditations. And I just really, while I was up here, I've been getting lots of hikes out on these beautiful trails barefoot every time. Cause I'm a crazy yogi that just loves to be barefoot out in the woods, but ultimately wherever it is that you're walking, this can be through a park and yeah, you might look a little weird to the people around you if you're super dialed into a meditation, right? And visually I would say like trying to keep the eyes steady up ahead of you where you're headed, but not, you know, wandering around with your eyes. Your visual sense is the one that most human beings use the most, right? We see take in the world with our eyes before anything else. So kind of disconnecting um, from the intense focus on what you see visually onto more of the sensations, the physical sensations, the auditory sensations, and being aware of where your thoughts are going, right? Because your thought might pull you off to like someone you see around you and then you go into this, what are they thinking of me doing this, you know, strange rhythmic walking and breathing and who cares what they think of you? Maybe they'll go home and Google walking meditation. Maybe they'll figure it out for themselves. So I didn't want to make this too long. I wasn't going to go through, it's kind of hard for me to do my own walking meditation, um, holding my phone out in front of me, but I just wanted to bring this up as an, as an opportunity just to, um, give more options for meditation because what I always try to, in, um, kind of 
instill in people is that any amount of stillness or any amount of mindfulness, if it's not even still, um, is better than none, okay? So you finding a few minutes to go for a walk in the morning and instead of just going on a walk and maybe listening to music or going on a walk and listening to a podcast or just listening to the you know what the sounds around you and nothing else bringing the the meditation aspect to it so the mindfulness being intentional with your footsteps the length of your stride the number of steps for each inhale the number of steps for each exhale the physical focus on your legs moving your feet touching the ground with each step. The sensation of balancing your head on your neck, like whatever it is, just feeling your body's in movement and you're really aware and awake to the fact that that's happening. Yeah, so I think that we'll call that um, the end of the video, but please comment below if you'd like me to do um, any kind of meditation videos. Like, please comment and let me know if you like this. If you've tried a walking meditation, come back and comment. Let me know how it turned out. And yeah, keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to yoga and to mindful movement. And I will see you again really soon. Hey, Mr. B, say hi. Those are your friends. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day.